You saw Mr. Habib earlier today? Yeah. What time? Around 11-ish. Where? Me flat. Why? Why did Mr. Habib come to see you? Did you buy any parts to get the car back on the road? No. So you already had the parts in your garage? It didn't need anything. I see. So it would just be your labour we'd find on the bill. I take it you do invoice your customers. I was doing it as a favour. Because you and Mr. Habib are such great mates. With him fathering a child, with your wife. Imran came to see you to talk about Alfie. About you taking Alfie away. You were planning on taking Alfie and leaving Weatherfield for good, is that right? Look, I know what you went through when you lost Seb. And I know how desperate you'd be to not lose Alfie. You'd do anything, wouldn't you? I wouldn't kidnap Alfie. I wouldn't. Did you tamper with Mr. Habib's car? How do you mean? Did you sabotage Mr. Habib's car, making it unsafe? Why would I? To get rid of him. What? No, I'm not sure I believe you. I'm telling you the truth. You deliberately disabled the car, allowing you to take it back to your garage, where you tampered with the brakes, directly leading to Mr. Habib's death. That's what happened, isn't it? No. Well, the brakes didn't work. Well, what do you mean, the brakes didn't work? We suspect they may have been disabled. What? I clipped a connection back on, that's all. How long did that take? A second. And how long did it take you to diagnose the fault? A couple of minutes. So 10 minutes tops? Yeah. Yeah, the car was in your garage for a couple of hours. Look, all right, I might have exaggerated how long it took to fix, but that was so Abby could have a bit of time with Alfie. But if you're lying about that, how do I know you're telling the truth now? You'll have some sort of crash team investigation on it, won't you? The whole CSI lot. They'll be able to tell you, I never touched the brakes. The car is so severely damaged, it may be difficult to know with a high degree of certainty that the brakes weren't tampered with. Well, it's down to do with me. I didn't touch the flaming brakes, I swear. I didn't touch the brakes. 